So when we moved in, there was this, looks like carport type thing. And it had a nice cover to it. And we put some wood in there. But a storm came and blew it all apart. And it's a nice metal frame, but the tarp kind of all ripped up. I think we've decided this is an ideal location for our greenhouse. We try a greenhouse. I mean, it's got, it'll have nice sun, a little bit of shade in the summer. I think this will be awesome, actually. Got the plastic off, got the logs moved. We gotta dig up some of this dirt now, level it out. We actually found there's a nice little cement pad back here, which will be good. We're gonna put down some, some pavers and we're gonna get rid of all these rocks. Here's all the lovely rocks that were in under that tree with all kinds of spiders. Junk pile I've been working on. Dig up all the soil in here because we will be putting down some pavers in our greenhouse. Okay, we're out here at the greenhouse, future greenhouse, and we're getting, we got the plastic in the mail, but we think the gaps are too wide between the posts, so we're gonna add another post in the middle. Bought some PVC, even though these are metal frame, and I bought one of these little teeth things, and I just cut it, that's all I did, it was round, and I just cut it, so, it'll kind of, see if I can get it, hold up, Wells, and I can snap it on. There we go. That just fits around there. Then we take this pipe, put it down in there. Like so. And we'll have to twist this a little. Like that. Yeah. Nice. So now we have a middle brace on the sides here. I'll have to do that all around. Got all the side uh, pieces on here. And I'm working on putting all the, the top supports up there. Super excited today. We have all the material we need to finish the greenhouse. Not gonna finish it in a day, but. It's going away. Now we're gonna line it with some of this paper so the water can still filter through. Okay. All right, day one. One done. One garden box. Okay.
you ever want to order a giant slip and slide, do it on Amazon. We got our plastic on. Now I gotta just put some of these, uh, I guess they're like clamps to help tighten the plastic left and right. Got some of our strained soil. And now we're adding some garden soil to it. Got the other box built. Except for the middle one. Trying to get all the all the tops are broken up. Is that mom's doing over there? Look at mom. What do we got here? Hey, strawberries. All the dirt. Well, you see how the roots you keep on pulling them up? Only one. Just the next one, right? So the roots. It's the tiniest. It's like grains of sand. See? See? Yeah. Yep. I got the door in today and the vent up top so the door is just a screen door which we're gonna put a nice covering over a little lock and then up top there's, there's a screen right there i don't know if you probably don't see it we're gonna have a piece of kind of glass or plastic that we can raise or lower to keep it uh, ventilated in here same with the door so hopefully through the summer everything survives been doing a lot on the greenhouse recently it's nice and warm in here you know it's kind of humid it feels great but eventually especially come summer it's gonna get really hot in here the screens on either side of it on the ends and the top and i was looking for a way i could just open them i know there's some like fancy ones you can buy that like open by themselves and things but this is the cheapest way I came up with. Just attach a little uh, hook here to this wire. If I want to close it, keep the wind out. It's nice and heavy. Definitely you can feel the difference when the wind is blowing when you close it. Just a little hook. And that's my solution to that. This was a scissor screen on this other side. I bought this piece of plastic here and uh, it's removable. Made a little tiny notch here. I can lift it up, open the door, and take it off. So maybe in the summer it might be permanently off to keep the heat from getting way too hot. Getting our signs. Still missing rosemary and our other cilantro. So today, it was about in the 40s and windy today. 
There's a good 80 degrees inside of this greenhouse. Man, I'm just noticing how humid it is inside of here. Becca actually painted a bunch of pots that we got at my grandma's house. They are really fun. And hopefully we can get this all wrapped up soon so we can get our vines growing to the ceiling. Of the ladder. And guess what? They were screaming of this one stick. Tiny stick that you were screaming about. And they were scared of it. 